Hello ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michael Montero from the Monteville Studios. With me is a book with a very rich chapter that states the arts of creative thinking. I know you are told to never judge a book by its cover, but today I want to tell you never judge a book by its title. John Adair is the author of this incredible and amazing book. Our today chapter, chapter 13, that states, test your assumptions. If a man begins at tinnities, he shall end in doubt. But if he will be content to begin with doubts, he will end with certainties. That was a saying by Francis Bacon. Einstein is famous for making one assumptions and thinking out its implications. Let me assume he said to himself that I am riding on the back of a sin beam traveling through the universe with the speed of light. He would think, he would think, how would things look to me? The eventual result was the general theory of relativity. By it, Einstein led us to the knowledge that planets and stars move not because they are influenced by forces coming from other bodies in the universe, but because of the special nature of the words of space and time in the neighborhood of matters. Light rays may travel straight, for example, in the vast inter interstellar spaces, but they are deflected or bent when they came or when they come within the field of inference of a star or other massive bodies. Making conscious assumptions like that one is a key tool in the tool chest of a creative thinker. You are deliberately and temporarily making assumptions that something is true. It is like making a move in a game of chess, but still keeping your hand on the piece so that they can, rep they, they can replace it if you do not like the implications of the half-made move. No regret discovery is made without a all gas, said Isaac Newton. I have emphasized the words above in italic because this kind of ex exploratory thinking does need to be sharply distinguished from thinking based upon unconscious assumptions all preconceptions we have all had the experience of taking something for granted as the basis for opinion or actions and then subsequently finding that we had made assumptions probably an unconscious one which was unwarranted Watch out for these preconceptions. They are hidden sandbags outside the harbor mouth. Preconceived ideas are the ones you entertain prior to actual knowledge. The actual reality dangerous ones are those below your level of awareness 
For we take on board all sorts of assumptions and preconceptions, often in the form of opinions or common sense, which on examination turn out to be unproven or debatable. They are the main impediments to having new ideas. Received opinion or anything should be suspect. Once an idea is generally accepted, it is time to consider rejecting it, but it is very difficult for you to do that. For to borrow Einstein's language, people in the mass can influence the space around them deflecting the pure shaft of human thoughts. Few people, said Einstein, are capable of expressing with equanimity opinions which differ from the prejudices of their social environments. Most people are even incapable of forming such opinions. We are social thinkers. Often, great thinkers are rather solitary figures, possibly because they have a need to distance themselves psychologically from the powerful influences of received opinions. When it comes to those dangerous and conscious assumptions, other people can be especially helpful to you. They can sometimes alert you to the fact that you are assuming that something is, is the case without being aware that you are doing so. Why do you believe that they ask? What is your evidence? Who told you? that you could not assumptive thinking is not the same as guessing when we conjecture conjecture summarize or guess we are really drawing inferences from slight evidence guessing means hitting upon a conclusion either hurry or at random or from very uncertain evidence. Making an assumption is more like taking a tentative step. Supposing we did, we did it this way, how would it work? What would the consequences be? It is not an answer even a guest answer but it is a step that you can take if you are baffled which might open up new possibilities which might open up new possibilities sorry about that my camera decided to flip upside down which is very okay we're still continuing no editing authentic as it gets it is important to appreciate this difference between deliberately preconceived ideas and fixed ideas. Often unconsciously held preconceived ideas are like such lights which illum illumine the path of an experimenter and serve him as a guide to interrogate nature. The Louis Pasteur, they become a danger only if he transforms them into fixed ideas. That is why I should like to see these profound words inscribed 
on the threshold of all the temperates of science. The great derangement of the mind is to believe in something because one wishes it to be so. Getting the balance right between imaginative thinking and crucial thinking is essential for all creative thinkers, not least research scientists. Pasture continued. Imagination is needed to give wings to thoughts at the beginning of experimental investigation into an into any given subject when however the time has come to conclude and to interpret the facts derived from observations imaginations must submit to the factual results of the experiment Consequently, thinking will lead you to break or bend some of the rules which others take to be axiomatic. It is a very well established rule in thinking that you should not be, should not base an argument on false premises. For the purpose of creative thinking, however, a false premise in the shape of a bold and imaginative assumption may be just what you need in order to shatter your preconceptions. Daring ideas are like chessmen moved from Wada, writes Geoff. They may be beaten, but they may start a winning game. <laughs> That's a good one. Our key points. We have only three key points. I'll go through them as quick as possible. Key points number one. The ability to explore possible ways forward by making some deliberate assumption is important. They are to be made without commitment like trying on new clothes new clothes or clothes in shop prior to buying or not buying them number two develop your awareness of the jungle of tangled misconceptions preconceptions and unconscious assumptions within you welcome others when they challenge or test your assumptions. Welcome her. Number three. Three. Opinion are often more precious than true. They change according to such factors as the group, organizations, or society. Time and place where you happen to be. Today's common sense is very different from common sense 50 years ago. What will common sense be like? What kinds of opinion will there be in 50 years time from now? That's the end of our chapter 13. So beautiful, so interesting. I'm learning. Are you learning? Thank you so much. If you like it, please subscribe. We see you on chapter 14, which states, use your inner brain. As usual, Kamakawa Kamadawa. Yours, Michael Montero from the Monteville Studios. Sante Nisana for your time. Share, comment, subscribe.